Uh-uh. No, I'm really 11. That's okay. Everybody usually thinks I'm seven. Even the eight-year-old kids I ride the bus would think I'm seven. But, you know, I'm used to it. They like to stay with their own group of friends, unfortunately. So do the 11-year-olds. It's weird being trapped between age groups, especially when you happen to be in one of those age groups. It gives me time to think about stuff. Like, why my sister's door is always closed. Or whether or not I should do my book report on this book called The Boy Who Sailed Around the World Alone, which is about this guy who sailed around the world alone. Except he wasn't alone, he took his cat with him. And after a few weeks, he went crazy and threw the cat in the water and shot it. Then he was all by himself. Sometimes I wish I were that guy. Minus the cat, of course. I wonder what my sister's doing. Probably baptizing herself right about now. I guess I should explain. Her latest plan is to convince Dad that she is turning over a new leaf by becoming religious. She likes to demonstrate this by reading the Bible at the dinner table. Except that I don't think he really cares as long as he's got his Heineken. Some nights I like to go out. One of the good things about being short is that windows can become doors. I don't like my room. Instead, I go out front and sit with the tree, counting the cars that go by at midnight. I always wonder who's in the cars wonder if they're alone or with other people, or if they know where they're going before they start driving. I think my sister feels more at home in her room and on the phone than anywhere else. I suppose if I called her, she might even talk to me. But she probably recognized my voice. Sometimes I get the feeling that she blames me for mom dying. I guess it is my fault. Every once in a while, 
I walk around the house to see what my dad is doing. And every once in a while, I'll see him sitting on his bed. I'm not sure, but once I think I saw him crying. But like I said, I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever seen him smile. In the pictures with my mom, before I was born, he was always happy. Lately, he's been getting really bad headaches. I've seen him take out a lot of pills at once and then put them back. Maybe it's something else. I hope it's nothing I did. One day my dad dropped me off at my aunt's house. I had never met her. She was gonna babysit me. My dad told me to keep to myself because she was kind of eccentric. I think she's just kind of kooky. She has all this old stuff in her house from the Civil War, especially this old organ that she played for hours. In another room, there's this bed that's still made and baby clothes that are still folded on the dresser. And in the corner, there's a stroller with the little baby doll in it. I guess she keeps this as a playroom for the rest of the kids that come and visit. Overall, she turned out to be a nice lady. Busy, but nice. My dad finally came by and picked me up. I almost wanted to stay, but I was afraid that if I did, he might not come back and get me. So I got in the car. I told him about how nice she was to me and that I think she liked me. He said that it wasn't that she liked me, but that I reminded her of her daughter that had died a long time ago. I guess she really misses her daughter.
I've heard this saying somewhere. At school, I think. Something like the family that prays together or loves each other or something like that stays together. But then again, that only works for families. <laughs>